generally speaking, um, a, a faculty member who has a company uh, that they've created outside the university, uh, generally it's to commercialize intellectual property that that individual created, and that company wants to fund an activity at the institution, wants to make use of university resources and facilities, um, needs to be very cautious about having two masters or serving two roles. Uh, he can't be a fiduciary for the company and carry out his fiduciary obligations for the university. So generally speaking, you would not be allowed to be a principal investigator on a project that was funded by your own company. But I'm an honest investigator. I've disclosed everything to you. Are you telling me that the, it's the perception that the institution is sometimes worried about? It's a, exactly right. It's the perception that uh, becomes important. And there are mechanisms uh, that many institutions use to enable the activity to go forward, but to remove you as a faculty member from that position of having your integrity potentially questioned. Um, so, but that's not to say you can't be a principal investigator on related projects. Um, because we want you to continue in your role as a faculty member at the institution to write proposals and win awards and mentor students and continue this very productive line of research that's led to a success that allowed you uh, to create a startup company. So we want you to continue to do that and we certainly, um, almost every institution has mechanisms by which you would be able to segregate your activities with the company and still continue to be a principal investigator on related research in your laboratory. It's just that funding directly from your company that might be a problem. Yeah, I always caution when I'm talking with faculty members is that you don't want to jeopardize the rest of your portfolio for a $40,000 project that you're going to come from your company to do some test and analysis on the weekend. Uh, Absolutely. When you have two or three million dollars in the rest of the lab, because it has happened before, right? And, Certainly. And you know, you want to put the faculty member in the best position to succeed as an investigator. And I always tell them when I'm talking to them that, look, I'm here to represent the institution. I'm, I'm here for you too, but I, I want to make sure that uh, all parties are going to be uh, objective in the process, and the research will actually not be questioned with regards to perceptions or, or real conflicts. So. That's, a, that's exactly the approach I think most institutions take, is to facilitate and enable the uh, outside professional activity and to preserve the research and the research integrity uh, that goes on at the institution. Yeah, excellent.